Hello. These are the adventures of Wally and Geoffrey, naughty orphans from Snod Hill. One day, Mrs. Slimebottom asked Wally and Geoffrey to go and fetch her some apples so that she could make some cider. Come along, Geoffrey. Today we're going scrumping. We're doing what? Scrumping. Scrumping. What's that, Wally? Oh, you're such an ignorant brother. I forget how small your brain is. Yeah. Well, it is a small brain, but I wouldn't have a bigger one, otherwise I'd have to feed it all the time. What are you going on about? Well, three times a day I have to shove food into my head. Yes. It goes straight into my brain compartment and gets gobbled up by my little grey cells. And if I had a bigger brain, there wouldn't be enough room for the food and the brain. Stupid. <coughs> oh. Careful, Wally. My brain might fall out if you keep it in my head. Well, shut up and listen then. Today we're going scrumping. And, before you ask, scrumping is an old Devonshire term for collecting apples. Are we going to Devon then? It's a hell of a long way to Devon. I, I mean, the corner shop's just down the road. No, we're not going to Devon. We're just going to the orchard. But we're not allowed to pick the apples that are growing on the trees. Well, that's daft. What are we going to do? Pick daisies? No. The apples that have fallen. When they get ripe, they fall. But they'll be all bruised. Well, that doesn't matter in cider making. Ooh. Well, I don't want to drink it if it's made from bruised fruit. I mean, that's like having fizzy lemonade in a dented can. It tastes all crooked. Oh, stop whining and come on. Wally and Geoffrey collected a couple of buckets and headed off to the orchard. Cool! There's a lot of apples here, isn't there, Wally? Hmm. No, don't do that. I've told you, you're not allowed to pick the apples from the trees. Eh? Why not, Wally? Because they're Granny Smiths. Oh, I'm sure Granny Smith won't mind if we ask her nicely. Is she a friendly Granny? Idiot. That's the name of an apple. It's not a real person. Cool! Oh, so is that a Granny Smith too? Yes, that's right. But Mrs Slimebottom doesn't want Granny Smiths. Oh, doesn't she? Oh, don't tell me. She wants Grandad Smiths. No. Grandad Jones? No. What about Uncle Tom Cobbley? Shut up, numbskull. She wants us to pick pink ladies. She what? Look, over there. She wants to pick up the pink ladies from the ground. Pink ladies? There's no ladies on the ground, Wally. <laughs> Duh. Pink ladies is a type of apple, like Braeburn or Golden Delicious or Pippin. Do you mean Mary Pippin? That's Mary Poppins. Golly, is there an apple with an umbrella and a, and a bottomless carpet bag and a spoonful of sugar? No, stupid, there's no apple called Mary Poppins. I said Pippin. Yeah, well, all apples have got pips in. No, not pips. I be oh, never mind. Look, just go and collect all the apples. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? I'm going to supervise. Well, why are you going to supervise? Because, Geoffrey, one of us has to be in charge of quality control. Yeah, well, I could do that. No, you couldn't. You don't know your russet from your cocks. What are you talking about? I know exactly where my... I said cocks. It's a British variety of apple. Oh... Just get picking up those apples and bung them in the bucket. Hmm. Oh. <clears throat> Is this a pink lady, Wally? Uh, yes, that's right. Ah. <coughs> mm. Tasty, isn't it? What? You're not supposed to eat it. Put it in the bucket. Uh, sorry, sorry, Wally. No, no, don't do that. It's got saliva all over it. Uh, do you want it? No, I don't. Throw it away and start all over again. No, I can't throw it away, Wally. That would be littering. How can it be littering when you've got it off the ground in the first place? Oh, well, we can't use it anyway. Look, it's got a magpie in it. It's got a what? A magpie. That's not a magpie, you idiot. It's a maggot. And in fact, it's half a maggot. Ooh, yuck. I'm glad you stopped me eating it. I wouldn't like to eat half a maggot. You twit. You already have. That's the bit that's left. Now get on and pick them up. Oh, all right. I'll put it in my pocket for later. Fine. 
Just get on with picking them up. I don't want to be here all day. So Geoffrey picked up two bucket loads of apples, while Wally had a nice sit down with his back against a tree trunk. When he woke up, Geoffrey had disappeared. Geoffrey? <coughs> Geoffrey? Geoffrey? Oh, I'm up here, Wally. Hello. What are you doing up there? It's all right, Wally. I, I haven't eaten any of the apples. Never mind that. What are you doing climbing a tree in the first place? I was thinking about what you said. What I said? What did I say? About how we can only pick the apples that have fallen. What about it? Well, I thought that if I was to climb a tree like this, which is loaded with pink ladies, and gave it a jolly good shake like that, well, more apples would fall and we'd get fresh ones to take back to Mrs Slimebottom. Oh, I see what you mean. Yes, it's a good... No, no, stop. No, don't do that. Here we go. Oh, giving it a good shake. So Geoffrey gave the tree a great big shake and great big plump apples fell down, bashing Wally on the head, all on his back and everywhere. No, stop it. Oh, ow. Oh, that was right on my... I'll get you, Geoffrey Bonehead. Oh, oh dear. Geoffrey seems to be in trouble. I hope you enjoyed that lovely little story and will join me again when we have more adventures of Wally and Geoffrey. Until then, goodbye. If you've enjoyed these stories, you may be interested to know that I'm a writer and I've written some books. This is my best book at the moment, Splidge the Cragflinger, about a boy of 12 who has entered into the Royal Tournament. Ever so exciting. So check out the links below. Oh yeah, and if you like these stories, don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends. Bye-bye. <laughs>